Now we're still on 1.3 and we're looking at increasing and decreasing functions and local extrema. So I just want to refer to this graph here and this is a cubic function probably. And so we see here it's going up, 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 up. That's increasing. Then it comes down, 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 down. That's decreasing. And then it goes up, 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 up. So it's increasing again. And then this high point here, there's a high point, there's a low point. But that's not the highest point overall. This point is high for the area it's in, but it's not the highest point. I mean, the highest point goes on forever up. And it goes on forever down, so that's not the lowest point. So we call this high point here, that's high for the area around it, the local maximum. Local maximum occurs here. And then this one that's low, it's not lo the lowest ever because it goes down forever. That's a local minimum. Local minimum. So local minima and maxima. So that's the, the plural. A function f is an increasing function on an open interval. If f of b is greater than f of a for uh, any two input values a and b. So let me do this there. So we have to come up with some terms here. Increasing function. If, it, if f of b is bigger than f of a when b is bigger than a. So <clears throat> as you go to the right, it goes up. Decreasing function is if f of b is less than f of a for b being bigger than a. Mm -hmm. So as you go to the right, it goes down. Now, uh, local maximum at x equals b. So if there is an interval ac with a less than b, less than c, such that for any x in the interval ac, f of x is less than or equal to f of b. So it's the high point within a, a range of values. Not the whole thing necessarily, but just within a range of values. Likewise, f has a local minimum at x equals b. There exists an interval ac where b is strictly between a and c, such that for any x in the interval, f of x is greater than or equal to f of b. So in this case, everything else is bigger than it. So for this one, we're going to identify the intervals in which the function appears to be increasing. So I'm going to switch to red here. So this seems like things change here. Things change here. And things change here. So it looks like it's going down as you go to the right. So decreasing seems to be occurring from negative infinity up to one. So I'm just looking at the x values here. And then it seems to be increasing from one to three. So one from one to three, it seems like it peaks out and starts going down. So one to three. And then it's decreasing again from three to four. So I'm going to say three to four, put the union there. Then it increases again from 4 to infinity. Okay, hope that helps. By the way, they don't ask for it, but we'd have a local minimum here and here and a local maximum there. This is graph the function f of x equals x cubed minus 6x squared minus 15x plus 2. And I wonder if there's a typo there. And there was, that's actually a 20. To estimate the local extrema of the function, determine the intervals on which the function is increasing and decreasing. So our graph looks something like this. Let me try to recreate it. And it comes up, peaks right about negative one. Then it comes down comes up again. The cross is here, not that this is asking this problem, at 1. It looks like it bottoms out at 5. So this point would be 5, negative 80. And this point is at negative 1, comma 28.
So not drawn to scale necessarily, but okay. So what we're looking at, we have an increasing function here and here on those intervals. So it's increasing from negative infinity up to negative one. So I'm looking at the x values for which it's increasing. And then from five to infinity. And then it's decreasing from one to five. So I'm, again, I'm looking at the x values where it's decreasing. What x values does it decrease on? So negative one to five. And then we want to know the local max. And that's this high point here. So negative one comma 28. And the local min, which is down here, which is going to be five comma negative 80. Find all local maxima and minima. So I'm looking for low points. It looks like there's one here. There's a high point there. So let's look, we have a local min at negative one, negative two. This is at negative one, negative two. And a local max at one, positive two. That's here. Okay. Absolute maximum and minima. So the absolute maximum and minimum, so it's not just on an interval, it's for the whole thing. So at x equals c, f of c is a absolute max if f of c is greater than or equal to f of x for all x in the domain. And that absolute minimum is at x equals d if f of d, where f of d is less than or equal to f of x for all x in that domain. So if it's forever the the biggest or the lowest, that's an absolute. Okay, for the function shown, find the absolute. Find all absolute maximum and minimum. Okay. So this looks maximum and this looks maximum to me. And that's a relative min, but this is the absolute minimum. This is not an, um, that's a relative min that's not an absolute minimum. So absolute max occurs at negative 2, 16, and this is an order pair that's not an interval, positive 2, 16. Then the absolute min is going to be at 3 negative 10 okay. hope that makes sense and that will do it okay now you can go do the homework in the online program